For 24 years, this statue stood inside the campus of Hong Kong University. The harrowed, twisted figures, a memorial to the Tiananmen Square protesters of 1989, who asked for more freedom and who got bullets in return. In mainland China, even discussing the topic is taboo. But Hong Kong was a place where people could remember. And the pillar of shame did not just honor the past, but stood tall as proof of Hong Kong's unique freedoms, its difference from other Chinese cities. These days, things are not so different, though. Under the cover of darkness, they took it down. The pillar was covered up and put into storage. The next day, onlookers could see the new meaning in the now empty space. I don't think people would expect this thing would happen in the university, so-called, with uh, the most freedom of expression or freedom of speech. And uh, they tried to become the first one to remove every history or parts of history inside the campus. The University Council said it had removed the statue based on external legal advice and risk assessment for the best interest of the university. The pillar sculptor vowed to fight the decision. This is my sculpture and it's my property. So in the moment they are destroying uh, artwork who belong to a foreign artist. And I think uh, maybe this is a new case. And, and of course, we will try to protect our property in Hong Kong and even sue them if this, this is necessary. The room for dissent is shrinking in Hong Kong, ever since Beijing imposed a sweeping national security law. The plastic boards, the empty space, are their own monument to the change. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Beijing.